the college football season is approaching quickly. The, the off-season headlines is approaching quickly. The, the off-season headlines have been dominated by mm -hmm. conference realignment. What's your view of all right. that's been happening in college athletics? Well, you 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 call it realignment. Um, you really call it chasing the bag, and that's all they're doing. They're yeah. chasing the bag. Everything with realignment is all about. <laughs> I'm trying to put it nicely because I'm a head coach now. But they're trying to get money, man. Everybody's trying to line themselves up properly so their program can prosper. And I don't mind that. I want us to prosper as well. How, how do you see that? Or uh, I don't want to say trickling. How do you see that affecting HBCUs? It, it has a tremendous effect. Um, sooner or later, some of the prominent schools are going to have to make a decision. What do we want to do? Do we want to sit back and, and adhere to tradition? Or we want to put ourselves in a, a financial situation that our school prospers? You really got to factor that in and, and, and weigh those options. It's some tremendous options that a, a, a few of the schools are going to be faced with. We're, we're, we're already speaking about it. Okay. Um, I want to talk more about your program there at Jackson State. Last season, the Tigers won their first SWAC championship since 2007. What's it going to take to defend that title this season? Well, we, we go out and, and grab players that are smart, tough, fast, disciplined, with character. We've already won. We know how to win. This year, we added the necessary coaches as, was, as players to dominate. We want to dominate the darn SWAC. And when you dominate, uh, not only you win, but those players get an opportunity to go to the next level like the XFL in other um, leagues. Now, things didn't go your way in the Celebration Bowl with that loss to South Carolina State. Not how, at all. How will you use that experience as you head into this season? I'm, I'm not going to use that as a stepping stone. We got our butts kicked. We lost. We wasn't on our game that day, and I, and I take full responsibility. But guess what? We reloaded. We reloaded and we are ready. I, I really think we was a little celebratory, too premature in that game, and that's over. Trust me. Everything that we were insufficient in with the defensive line, offensive line, uh, some of the coaching staff, strength and conditioning, we addressed. And we went to the next level, and I love it. I cannot wait to unwrap this gift that we have here at Jackson State. All right, as we round this video out, man, I just want to give all respect to Coach Prime again because Coach Prime is a revelator. Coach Prime has been at the highest level. Coach Prime understands how people move in these rooms. And it's funny how they're cutthroat in these rooms, but when it comes out to the public sphere, it's like, oh, everything's all innocent, everything's all cool. Coach Prime knows. It's a money grab. Like you said, they're trying to get the bag. And that's just reality. So it's good for us HBCU patrons for all, all these years we talked about how great our product is and that people only want to see the band and all that good stuff. And it almost felt like it was a glass ceiling. Thank God for Coach Prime, because Coach Prime has helped elevating that glass ceiling and breaking that glass ceiling to put us on that same level with all these other boys, because, hey, the only thing that matters is dollars and cents. And if anybody's gone to a SWAC event, you know that we sell out crowds like nobody else. And especially if we're talking about that from the SCU ranks. Like, come on, man. We're not talking about anything as far as attendance. If you don't believe hoop jogging, go look the numbers up. The SWAC kills it. Um, HBCUs kill it. So, Coach Prime, you know, with the, the revelatory words, like I said, and it needs to be said on the highest level, which is on ESPN, because people think they don't know about what's going on in the HBCU uh, field as far as pooling money, as far as our product. And, again, I can't give him enough credit. He's putting that to the forefront so people have no choice but to acknowledge it now. So that's all I got on this video, man. Thank y'all for who patronized the page. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.